Good evening. I hope that you had a wonderful day. We are back to finish our day as we began it. So the Lord be with you. And also, also with you. you. God and Father of us all, from the rising of the sun to its setting, we give you praise for your faithfulness to us this day and your presence with us in the night. Speak to us in this time that we may see you and ourselves in the light of your truth and love. Amen. And we're going to read Psalms 94, verse 13 through 23. And we're going to read it as a prayer. Giving them respite from the days of trouble until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not forsake his people. He will not abandon his heritage. For justice will return to the righteous and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who rises up for me against the wicked, who stands up for me against evildoers. If the Lord had not been my help, my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence. When I thought my foot is slipping, your steadfast love, O Lord, held me up. When the cares of my heart are many, your con consolations cheer my soul. Can wicked rulers be allied with you for those who contrive mischief by statute? They band together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold and my God, the rock of my refuge. Who will repay them for their iniquity and wipe them out and wipe them out for their wickedness. The Lord our God will wipe them out. Amen. This psalm um, kind of resolves itself a little bit, but then it again ends. It's a difficult psalm, and it is one that really does speak to our hearts. So I invite you again as we end our day with these prayers of reflection. Pause the video and fill in your words as it feels helpful to you. Madeline. God of grace, we give you thanks for the times today when we have felt your presence. We pray for the things we have done that they would bring you glory. We pray for the projects that we left incomplete and the work we have saved until tomorrow. God of forgiveness and love, we pray for the sins and missteps of the day. We pray for those we have wronged through our words, our actions, and our inactions. As we prepare to rest, give us your grace so that we may be refreshed to continue to do your will and follow after you closely in the new day tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Thanks again for being here, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.